In C++, we separate the declaration of the class and the implementation. The declaration is placed within header file, a file that its extension is h, a file that includes um, declaration of a class. The declaration includes the declaration of each and every variable we want to have in each and every object instantiated from the class, in this case the variable width and height, as well as a declaration of the constructors and the methods we want to have um, in our class. In other words, in other words, the constructors we will be later able to invoke in order to create new objects and the methods we will be able to invoke on each and every object instantiated from our class, in this case the rectangle class. Once we complete with the declaration of our class and the implementation, the, def the exact definition of each and every method, we can use our class in any file, in any CPP file that includes the include directive that points at the header file where the class was declared. We can instantiate our class in two different ways. There is the way that use the new operator, the operator you probably know from C Sharp and Java an operator that returns an address for the new instantiated object here OB isn't a simple variable of the type rectangle it, I it is a variable that capable of holding a, an address for a rectangle object this is because of this star um, in simple words OBB is a pointer it holds the address of the rectangle object. Here, on the other hand, OBA is a simple variable of the type rectangle and unlike C Sharp and Java, OBA is already an object. It is an object of the type rectangle so we can invoke set width, set height as well as area method on that object. Here, on the other hand, um, because the rectangle object was instantiated using the new operator and OBB holds the address for that object, invoking the method is done using the arrow operator. We use that operator for invoking each and every method instead of the simple dot operator you know from uh, Java and C Sharp. Let's execute this code. Well, maybe the output isn't very beautiful because we forgot to print a new line. But as you can see, those two numbers printed one after the other, uh, this is actually a result of this code. We can fix that if we want. We just need to add this code snippet. And if we want to do a good job, let's put one here as well. Now we can compile, link, or in short build, and then execute the new version of our code. And as you can see, we received 12 twice uh, for each one of the area invocation you can see in this code.